Well, hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to look at finding the volume of a triangular prism. So our last lesson online was all about surface area of a triangular prism. Uh, this one we're going to look, be looking at how do we find out what goes inside of these funny little looking prisms, okay? So the things we have to remember about triangular prisms are this. The base, a lot of times people want to put the base as the rectangular side face down, which is fine for when you're trying to find surface area. But when you're trying to find the volume, it's important that the base is always going to be the triangular side. Because the way we find the volume of a shape is we find the area of the triangular base and we multiply it by the length. So in this particular instance, it's a 3 centimeter by 5 centimeter base and it goes 16 centimeters back. Okay, So those are important things to think of. Now this formula can be written in a variety of different ways. Uh, in your math textbook, they like to write the formula as one half base times height times length. Personally, I find that to be a little too complicated, so I have my own different way that I like to write it. I like to write it pretty much exactly as we go here, just so that you can demonstrate that you understand the formula for finding the area of a triangle. And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to go bracket base times height divided by 2 multiplied by the length, okay? So in this particular uh, shape that we have here, triangular prism, the base is 3 centimeters, okay? The height, which is, as you hopefully remember, comes from a 90 degree angle from the base up to the tip of the triangle, and we mark that at 5 centimeters. And so that's going to be 3 times 5 divided by 2. Remember, we divide it by 2 when we're finding the area of a triangle because a triangle is half of a rectangle, all right? So base times height divided by two, multiply it by the length back, okay? So basically, the number of these triangles that go back to fill out the shape, which is 16 centimeters, okay? And as you work your way through that, you're going to find that the actual formula uh, works out to be as follows. I'll we'll get the handy dandy calculator, so we go three times five divided by two. We always start with the brackets. We go 7.5 times 16, and that ends up being 120. Now we're not done, we have to make sure we mark this with units, and that's going to be centimeters cubed. And it's as simple as that. Not too difficult for finding the volume. Essentially what we did was we found the area of this one triangular base, and we multiplied that base by the number of those triangles that are required to fill out this shape. So for example, you take one unit, one of these triangles, multiply it by the length of this, that's how many of these triangles you need to fill out this entire shape.